Hello, my name is Jen and I'm from the Biomedical Engineering Department at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. I'm here today to show you a short video tutorial on how to install and remove the screw action grips for tensile testing on our Instron 5544 materials testing system. If you haven't already, you may want to check out our YouTube channel for a video description of the different types of grips available. The screw action grips attach to the system using a pin connector. If the lower collet is not already in place, attach it by lining up the alignment pins on the base with the holes in the bottom of the collet. Use a 3 16 inch hex wrench to tighten the screw that's inserted into the collet. Once the collet is in place, you can begin installing the grips. You may need to use the keypad to jog the actuator upward to make enough room to install the grips. Insert the pin connector on the lower grip into the lower collet, align the holes, and insert the clevis pin. Tighten the lock nut clockwise so it is tight against the lower collet. Repeat this process to install the upper grip. Make sure to keep a firm hold on the grip during installation. Align the holes in the pin connector with those in the upper collet and insert the clevis pin. Tighten the lock nut counterclockwise so it is tight against the upper collet. Before testing, make sure you set your safety stops. The stops should be set so that they prevent the grips from making contact with one another. To remove the screw action grips, loosen the lock nut on the lower grip by unscrewing it in the counterclockwise direction so that it moves away from the lower collet. If the lock nut is very tight, you can use the lock nut tightening tool to help you unscrew it. Insert the tool into one of the holes on the lock nut and unscrew until the lock nut is flush against the bottom face of the grip. Next, remove the, the clevis pin from the collet. It may be helpful to lift up slightly on the grip while pulling out the pin. Once the pin has been removed, you can lift the lower grip out of the collet and put it aside. Insert the clevis pin back into the collet. These two parts should stay together. While removing the upper grip, you should always keep one hand securely holding the grip to prevent it from falling and causing damage to the equipment or yourself. Loosen the upper lock nut by turning clockwise until it is stopped by the top face of the grip. Use the lock nut tightening tool if it is very tight. Then securely hold the grip in one hand and remove the clevis pin from the upper collet with your other hand. You may need to push the grip upward a bit in order to remove the pin. Put the upper grip aside and insert the clevis pin back into the upper collet. You can remove the lower collet by removing the internal screw with a 3 16 inch hex wrench. Do not twist the collet itself or you will risk damage to the pins that hold it in place.